Properties in C Sharp provide the ability to protect the field by reading and writing to it through special methods called accessors. They are generally declared public with the same data type as the field they're going to protect, followed by the name of the property. We then have a code block where we declare the get and set accessors. The get accessor returns a value with the same data type as the property and is executed when the property is read. The set accessor assigns a value using the implicit parameter called value and is executed when we write to the property. As we can see, properties are implemented as methods, but they are used as though they are fields. This type of property, where the get and set accessors directly correspond to a field, are very common. Because of this, there's a shorthand way of writing it by leaving out the accessor code blocks and the private field. This syntax was introduced in C-sharp 3.0 and is called an auto-implemented property. Since there is no special logic in this property, it is functionally the same as if we had made it a public field. However, as a general rule, we should never use public fields in practical programming because of the many advantages that properties give us. First of all, they allow us to change the internal implementation of the property without breaking the programs that are using it. For example, if we needed to change the data type of the field to byte, we could handle the conversion transparently to the programs using this class. With a public field, we would never be able to do this. A second advantage to properties is that they allow us to validate the data before allowing a change. We can, for example, prevent the field from being given a negative value. Properties don't have to correspond to an actual field, but can just as well compute their own values. The data could even come from outside of the class, such as from a database. There's also nothing that prevents us from doing other things in the accessors, such as keeping an update counter. If we want to, we can leave out either one of the accessors. Without the set accessor, the property becomes read-only, and by leaving out the get accessor, we can make it write-only. We can also restrict their access levels. For instance, by making the set property private. The access level of the property itself can also be changed to restrict both accessors. By default, the accessors are public and the property itself is private.